Hi folks, I'm Aditya Mohandasan, a Salesforce developer from Suyati Technologies. This video is all about setting up communities and lightning community builder in your Salesforce org. This is the agenda for today. Introduction to community, how to set up community in your Salesforce org, access to community, login and registration, and finally, the new feature, Lightning Community Builder. So, what is a community? Community is a space for your organization so that the employees, partners and customers can easily connect with each other. It helps in better interaction with, the, with your customer so that the organization can provide them with right information. The examples of community are the success community in Salesforce or the developer community in Salesforce. Now, how to set up community in your Salesforce org? Let me show you. Go to setup. Type on community. Yeah, go to settings. And enable communities in your org. After that, you need to enable, you need to provide a unique domain name for your, for your community. My community is already enabled, and I have put a domain name as hrportal slash developer slash edition dot one dot post dot com. Put a domain name which is uh, relevant to your community. Let me show you the communities which I have created. Yeah. These are the two communities which I have created in my arm. We will come to it after some time. So, access to community. Now, you need to determine which profiles should have access to the communities. Which users should access the community. For that, let's take manage go to administration under that members. So here you can control the profiles which have access to the community or you can assign a permission set I have assigned a permission set called admin. Now this permission set is to enable the global header and it's the black bar which you see at the top. You can also control the tabs which are available in the community. I have enabled four tabs in my community. Chapter, community page, cases and dashboards. Right? Login and registration in your community. You need to enable login and registration so that users can come in and access the community. Let me take this in on the browser so you can see the the login page provided provide by the Salesforce. If you are not satisfied with it, you can create a custom login page for yourself and write a controller class for it. I have created a custom login page for myself. This is a simple login page which I have created using Bootstrap technology. Now here is where you can control login pages. You can either put standard community builder page or a custom visual force page which you, which you have created. Now 
Now, let's go forward and enable a contact as a community user. I'm taking contacts. contacts yeah. Mr. AV Green so I am enabling Mr. AV Green as a customer user or as a community user let me change the email So that the username and password will come to my home. I am putting the community username as C user1. It's already a user community is called C user1. So I am putting it as C user2 at salesforce.com. Save. Okay, you need to provide a role. Yeah. I've got the username and the temporary password. Change the password. I'm putting the password as community123. Yeah, you are on the community page. So, as I mentioned, we got four tabs here chapter, community page, pieces, and dashboard. You can customize this in any manner when you want. So, what is the user is not a contact in Salesforce. Right? So, you need to uh, put a provision so that the end user, external user can come and register in your community. For that, you need to do a little bit of coding. Like you need to edit this community self-registration controller class. Here, you need to specify the role and the account under which the, the user will be registered. Right? Like I'm logging out of it. Not member. If you fill these details, the user will have the role of X communication customer user and will become belong to this to this account. Let's see what this account is. Yeah. The external user will defaultly belong to this account, X communications. So that is all about logging and registration in communities. Next, we have Lightning Community Builder in Salesforce. Now, Lightning Community Builder is a great tool to brand your Salesforce community. I'll show you.
Is this the chatter? Here you can chat with other members of the community. Side out with studio. Side out with studio uh, is a is place with with manages the your your web pages, the login page, the main page, the registration page. Now let's go to liking community builder. This is your lighting community builder. You can brand it in any way you like. Like I have put a logo of my company here. I will change the color of the buttons to red. You can brand it in any manner you like. Right? So let's go to login page. You change the color of the pages. You input a background image, right? And a great feature is in uh, writing community builder is it's compatible with phone, tablet, or any device you want. It's highly responsive. You can see it's responsive. And all this thing you can achieve without any custom coding. You can publish this community. I will preview at it. Yeah, so no need to code a community and you can customize it in in however, in whatever manner you like. And also, it provides with, uh, many inbuilt templates. I'll show you. Uh, I need to create a new community so that I can show you the templates. You can see the writing community builder. Yeah. These are the various templates provided by the writing community builder. It's quite responsive. All you need to do is just drag and drop. You can set up your community easily by point and click. So communities provide a way to engage your customers and partners and bring collaboration in your organization. You can reach me out here at Twitter. This is my Twitter handle. And this is my LinkedIn handle. You can go to this PPT. You can, if you want this PPT, you can go to this site. I'll show you. Sites.com/slash/community900/slash/community. This is the link to this presentation. Thank you and have a nice day.